everybody, it's Eileen. I'm going to get in the kitchen, right? So I decided I have to show you what I, um, one of our new tools. I am so excited because I don't know about anybody else, but I absolutely love guacamole. And it has never been easier to make it than it is right now. So here's how easy. Avocado. Our avocado new mix. So scrumptious. Avocado cutter. Trust me. It doesn't look sharp. It's really, really sharp. That's why I got my flexible cutting mat out. Here's how easy. Go ahead. Put your avocado on your cutting mat. Okay. Twist avocado. Take the little scooper duper here. Right? Wouldn't you know it? One avocado. Three avocados. And I just pulled the one that was my... But anyways, it's supposed to flip in, right? So you kind of go like this. See? And then it just, and then take that out. Because we know if you can cut yourself, you know that's me. Okay. And then I'm just going to take my avocado and just scoop this out, right? So here's the thing. I should have chopped my avocados a little better. I actually know how to buy avocado. Is um, I should have used the one that's a little more. Okay. They're all a little too. Um, harder um, than I would like, but I'm just going to scoop this out, okay, if it was softer, you, when you buy avocados, when you use it, you want to make it, you want to get the ones that you can gently push in, okay, but this will work, we're going to dump this avocado in here, not the skin, okay, I'm finishing up um, dinner, and I'm running late again, shocker to do, right, um, if you want to know what I made, I made, actually I'll tell you, I made um, um, chicken salsa, and I made it in the quick cooker here. And if you want to know how I did it, just pop on over to my um, my little group, my cooking group, called Eileen's Cooking Again, and I showed you how I make it. I, you know, um, I made more than I probably could. I know this is always good if um, it's been asked to make. I can't. You know, when I was doing cooking uh, shows, oh my gosh, I've got, hey, Fitch and Sue and Joy, hey, Miss Nancy, um, love guac, right? You know, I've been knowing to um, buy, make guac and eat the whole thing by myself, right? So, yeah, love guac so much. You know, I'm trying to think that I'm traveling again, like not, right? But I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping, um, last time I traveled was last, um, we've been thinking about that a lot lately, is my last trip that I made was last year, and I went to visit Dad and my one sister and really good friends of us, the Janison. The boy was that fun. And then some of my aunts and uncles, and it was just like, so fun. But here's the wild thing. I left on the 5th of March and came home on the 10th. How good was that for timing, you guys, right? Okay, so... Guac is in here. This is my guac. My um, avocado is a little too hard yet, but you know what? I really don't care because I just love guac, and it's gonna go perfect with my chicken salsa and um, rice that I have in here. Okay, and then you just take like a tablespoon. Let me grab a tablespoon. Do 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 do. You know, grab a tablespoon, right? Okay, so we're just gonna measure one of these out. Dump in it. Now, you don't have to put lime or anything in it, but, you know, it's me. So, you know I have to do a little more because anyone who knows me knows how. It's just the way I am, right? For better, <laughs> really for worse, whatever, whatever. You know, maybe that's why um, one of my um, friends, Kim Aubrey, said, she actually told her husband, she goes, this is why things don't turn out right because she never does it exactly the same. And she doesn't follow recipes as well as she's good. And unfortunately, that's probably really, really true. Okay. So, this here. Wait, okay. Hold still. I have things falling out of my cupboard again. Where did I put that? Um, this is my new um, juicer. But what I was going to do was I was going to go ahead and I wanted to, um, I'm going to add a half a um, lime juice to this. And what I was going to see, I told you this is really tough. I mean, I could just do this, right? And, and it has a zester 
and, and it's in the cupboard. I just don't know where it's in. It's in the cupboard. It's on the third shelf. I mean, I know that much, but you guys don't need me to find that right now. Okay, we're just going to do something. Look how big this is, right? But here, it's got a stainless steel um, grater, right? So I can zest too as well. It's so cool, right? Okay. Ew, I'm almost at the temp. Um, and I have to get moving because I'm also supposed to be on a Zoom call in one minute. So I got to hurry up because I'm the person. Okay. And I just dumped this in here. And I'm going to get in trouble because I'm running late. Grab my mix and mash, right? Okay. Mix, 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 mix. I have guac. Okay. That's all I have to tell you guys today. Gotta go. Bye.